Okay, this is Jeff Hall from Lego Geo Systems in Houston. Today we're going to go over how to um, download the um, firmware from my world and a license key. We're going to load the license key of the CS20 and then we're going to format the system RAM, internal memory, do a full Windows reset and load the firmware. First thing we'll do is we'll go, I click on here, we'll go to my world. And what I did is I just picked product type as controller. I'm under my products. And what I can do is I can scroll down to the, uh, let's assume this is the CS20 that we just ordered the update for. Here's a serial number, the equipment number. So once again, if I hit view product, I could register the equipment number and that's how we register that controller in here. So I click on the uh, CS20. I'll just take a second. On the first page under overview, Download keys. This is where your license keys are. And that's what we put on the SD card. If we click over here to software, this will back up the release notes and the firmware. And that's how we download the firmware. Okay. Um, it just takes a second. It's not the fastest moving website. And we pop over here. We'll scroll down. And this shows the release notes. These are very handy to download, read through. It shows all the new enhancements. And here's the, the firmware. See, it's like 454 megabytes, so it's pretty big. So this goes under the system with the license key on the SD card. If you want older firmware versions, just click on here and I can download 4.5 of an even older firmware version. So that's a quick overview of my world. There's another video that goes into more details, but that's how we downloaded the license key and the firmware. And uh, let's take a quick look at the videos to step us through the process. All right, in the previous video, we deleted the jobs, backed up the settings. Um, now we're gonna format um, the uh, system RAM. First thing I'm gonna do is if I hit settings, uh, go to about, captivate, and here's the serial number equipment number. You can register the CS controller, and we download the license key, and we got version 4.1. So I don't wanna upgrade more than th a version of three. So we can go to version six, which should be fine. But if this was version one, I'd want to probably upgrade to version four and then go to version six. Okay. Um, we'll escape out of here. So the equipment number is what we use to register on my world. And what I'll do is um, we'll hit function windows again and I'm gonna go to my, my device. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to backup. And sometimes there's an all objects on zip file, important hit to delete that. Just edit, select, and delete that. We don't have one there. Um, right now, one thing I forgot to show you was if we come here under Captivate tab, it'll show the expiration date. And we have a light license key. So we're gonna load this. So hit settings, tools, number six and then it's load license key. And this license key is on the system subdirectory of the SD card. So we'll hit okay, it just takes a second. And what will happen now, we'll go back to settings about, and if I go to Leica Captivate, now you'll see the uh, export, the CCP end date's been updated and that now allows us to upload the firmware. So that's the first step to load the license key. Now what we'll do is we'll hit settings. Since everything's backed up, um, we'll say tools, and I'm gonna say format, and we'll hit system, and then hit okay. This will format the system RAM. We're gonna lose all the work styles. We got them backed up in the previous uh, video. Okay, and we'll go back. Uh, we'll fire Captivate back up. All right, in the previous video, we deleted the jobs, backed up the settings. Okay, we just formatted system RAM. We're back in the main screen. I'm gonna hit settings, tools, format. And now we'll format the internal memory. And that's gonna format all the jobs, which we backed up. We'll hit okay, and I'll say yes. This will take just a, a minute. We'll go back out to the main screen. And what we'll do here is we'll now go in and um, 
do a Windows reset. So let's give it a second. Let's format the internal memory. There's quite a few jobs on it, so take a second. If I hold the power key down, so the power key is down by F7, hold down for a few seconds, then the three boxes will hit reset. And I'm going to do re reset Windows and installed software. This is a complete wipe. And then that'll reset Windows. And then we'll start loading the firmware. Okay, the CS20 is fired up. Um, we just finished formatting the internal memory and the system RAM and the Windows reset. Um, if I hit function Windows, if I go to my device, go to the SD card, under system, that's where we copy the license key. And this is the CS20 version 6 firmware. It's a big file we copied and put on the SD card. Uh, what's important, make sure you have enough power. So right now we have 74%. You should really have you know, as close to 100% as possible. Um, it'll warn you for too low. So what we'll do is we'll hit settings and um, we'll hit tools and then we'll hit upload software. And it's going to come up and look on the SD card. You have to use an SD card. You cannot use a USB. So you've got to use an SD card. And we formatted this earlier. So that's really important. And we'll hit OK. So we agree. And then it'll say join the upload process. We'll automatic it close. We'll say yes. And then the screen's going to start spinning. Um, we didn't have enough power on the battery. It stopped and warned us to put a full battery in. Um, and it's going to spin. This is going to take around 20, 25 minutes. So basically, um, it'll spin. Probably after five or 10 minutes, you'll see a progress bar. And then you can monitor um, the upload process of the firmware on the CS20. So that's just a quick video after formatting everything of showing you how to load the firmware from the SD card to the CS20.